Hello again, and welcome. This is my hair when it's freshly blow-dried. Ew, disgusting. And we're gonna change it from that to this by the end of the video. I promise you, it will happen, trust me. I like to split my hair right down the back of my head and work off of two big sections. It's just faster, but if you wanna clip it, feel free to do that. Now I'm pumping a generous amount of oil, oil by Dabness all over my hands. Getting it all over those dry pieces around your face is very important too, just wherever feels like it needs some moisture and heat protection. And I'm using my trusty old curling iron, the one and a quarter inch one with a clip. And what I'm doing is I am kind of, this is difficult to explain with words by the way, but I'm gonna try. I'm starting at the top and curling my way down, but every time that I make a rotation, I'm actually then kind of slipping the curling iron out of the hair. It's kind of like when you're knitting and you take the yarn off the needle. That's sort of what I'm doing with my hair. And as you can see, it's kind of making one rotation around the section. Hold it enough for the heat to penetrate the section, release it, wrap it around again, move down, release, wrap around, move down. It's just a pattern. And I wish that I could explain it better verbally, but I feel like that just confuses people a little bit more. I think that if you watch it and you just understand exactly what's happening, like you can understand the concept of what I'm doing, then you'll be able to figure out a way that works best for you. That's what I think. But I also have a video here on my YouTube channel where I am doing this technique on a friend and then I have her try it and I correct any of her mistakes. So if you're finding that this is just not easy for you, go watch that video and you might find the answers you're looking for. But this is such a quick way to do it. Look at how big these sections are that I'm using. And like, I'm done in friggin' five minutes, so. And then around the face, you wanna go a little closer to your hairline. I just have some frizzy hair up there, so that's why I do that. And I usually kinda of straighten the ends out a bit. Now we're gonna let it cool. It takes a little bit of time. Yeah, it's time. So let it cool down and set, and then run your fingers through it, brush it all out. You can use a brush if you prefer, but I like it to be a little piecier, so I just use my fingers. And my final step is applying a dry texture spray all over my hair. I like to put it right in the roots and then all over the ends because I like that messy, gritty texture. If you guys don't like that feeling in your hair, you definitely don't have to use it, it's optional. Uh, but that's it. This is the hair. It's done. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. I would love it if you did. And I'll see you next week.